So you're brand new to Diablo Immortal and you're wondering how you could level up fast. Well, Nemo and I are here to tell you that there is a proper way to do this and there's a wrong way to do it. So today, we're gonna fill you in. What is up, my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the channel. We know that you're excited to be playing or soon be playing Diablo Immortal. And something about a lot of these games is gaining power. You want to be strong so you can be competitive, whether you are a free-to-play player or someone that pays to play the game. Today, Nemo and I, we've, we've learned a lot from playing and we know that there's a right and a wrong way to do this. So we're gonna share all of our tips with you because of course, this is the fourth video in our new beginner player guide. Nemo, I love the series and I love hanging out with you. Welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for having me. It's always a blast being here. This is a really exciting series. I'm really, really excited to uh, get into part four, which is the uh, power leveling, right? That's the best thing that everybody wants to know about. So let's just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. But before we do, I want to remind everyone that you're going to get some tips about power leveling as well that are not inside of this video over in Nemo's video on his channel, Scrappy Academy. So when you're done watching this one, go check out his. I'll be linking it down below with more tips for leveling up. The first one that you need to do every day is do your daily bounties in Diablo Immortal. Once you get to Westmarch, which at this point in time is like an hour into the game, you'll unlock the bounty board and there you can pick up quests, which rewards you heavily. A lot of XP can be gained from there. Now, if you forget to log in one day or you're out of town or you don't wanna play, those bounties will stack. So I believe they stack for three days and then you start losing a day's bounty. So make sure you get them done. And if you miss a day, the next day, make sure you do twice as many so you don't miss out on that valuable experience and also the rewards you find along the way. But Nemo, it's not just about bounties because people that decide to become shadows, what do they have to do? Well, right around level 43-ish, you usually get a choice between whether you wanna be an adventurer, a shadow, or an immortal. And if you join the shadows or the immortals, you have an extra quest or I guess you could call them extra bounties. They're they're called shadow contracts on the shadow side and immortal dailies if you're an immortal. Those contracts, dailies, or whatever you want to call them, give you a lot of different stuff. It gives you hilt, it gives you points, it gives you gold, it gives you lots of XP. And you definitely don't want to miss this. Those two things, whether you're a shadow or an immortal, will definitely help you gain power even faster. Yeah, and at the end of the day, they're like bounties, but they're maybe a little bit more in depth, again, rewarding you with great XP. But that takes us to our third, third tip on today's list, which is featured events. Every day there's gonna be featured events that'll be available in the sidebar, and they're gonna give you two times XP, double the experience just from doing those quests. I guess you could say they're kind of similar to bounties, and they're kind of similar to shadow contracts and immortal dailies, but they're something separate for extra XP and you need to not forget about them. You need to just check and see what you're gonna be rewarded heavily for and engage in those activities. Nemo, what's our fourth tip? Well, along with your uh, two times XP, like you said, those activities, there's also daily quests that you should do because these daily quests, they change every day. They will show up in your codex and when you see them, you should do them because they give you platinum. They give you extra XP and they give you more things that you definitely don't want to miss out. They're specific things, very small. You just need to go and kind of do them. And when you do, you get lots of platinum for it. And platinum, of course, means more gems, which means more power. So Echo, how about we get into number five? This is a really exciting one. Let's do it. Now, Nemo, our next tip is hourly events. Every single hour inside of the game, there's a featured event. That event is going to give you huge rewards and huge XP. An example would be the haunted carriage where you have to just go and beat down the carriage and the enemy that comes out at the end. Now, realistically, it's hard to participate in every single one throughout the day because there's one every hour. You can't realistically do this, but there are ways that you can manipulate your way around the game to participate in these multiple different times with the most time efficiency. We'll get into that because it's a little bit deeper in an upcoming video, but you want to try and participate in these hourly events when they're happening. If you're online and one's going on, head on over and participate because you're going to get big rewards. Plus, they're a lot of fun. But Nemo, what's our next one? This is a really, really good one. One of my favorite ways, uh, kind of building on what you talked about with the zone events, there's a specific zone called the Library of Zoltan Cool, And in that, Library of Zoltan Cool. There's a, there's an event. It's kind of an event that you have to do. Basically, you have to run around and pick up these lost pages. 
And when you find these pages, when you get five of them, you can open up a, a portal into another place. Basically, what this is, is a, another way for you to get enchanted dust, for you to get more XP, for you to upgrade your, your gear slots. And sometimes, sometimes you're also able to spawn world bosses. There's a Hydro boss and there's a Golem boss. And when you spawn them, everybody from the area can go to the boss. And as soon as they put one hit on it, they get the rewards as well. And all you have to do is just run around Zoltan Cool's library and find these lost pages. This is an amazing mechanic. One of my favorite zones, just specifically for this reason, you definitely don't want to miss out because it will allow you to get the enchanted dust, more upgrades on your weapons, and more XP. And that's stuff that you are gonna want. But now while you're roaming around anywhere in the game, let's say the campaign specifically, you're gonna run into colored mobs. These colored mobs are gonna show up in your map on the top of the screen. They're gonna be purple, blue, orange. And whenever you see something glowing like that in color, whether it be a mob, whether it be a question mark, that's gonna be a quest, they're gonna offer you extra rewards or extra experience. And you wanna kind of lean into running through them, right? So whenever I run, and whenever I'm just randomly doing a quest, randomly going through the campaign, if I see those blue skulls in the top of the screen, I head in that direction. I know they're close by, it'll take me a few seconds, and I get extra experience for taking them down. Now a little bonus on top of that, if you happen to see an orange one, that is gonna give you extra experience, but as Nemo said in one of our prior beginner videos, they also drop a guaranteed legendary item. When you see orange, you go running drop everything else you're doing free legendaries especially for free to play players that's something you have to pick up so don't miss it now as i said you don't want to miss out on the mobs around the screen when you see them up there i did also tease another tip which was the question marks or exclamation points these are side quests that you could run into again it's a color that's up in your map. It stands out, it's bright. It means come find me, I have rewards to give. So if you see mobs of different color, or if you see exclamation points or question marks, I don't even recall what they are, you're gonna go run in that direction, do the quest, earn the extra rewards. But Nemo, I know you have one about the battle pass as well. And tell me, does this matter whether you have paid for the battle pass or if you're just on the free tier or is this good for both? It's good for both, actually. It doesn't matter whether you're paid or not. Mm -hmm. This is a pro tip, very important. When you're doing your battle pass, right, you get these points, and then you take the points, you turn them in, and progress your battle pass further and further. Most important thing to do, and we're gonna build up on what we talked about earlier in here. Remember those daily quests that I said that you should do every day? Because when you turn them in, by battle pass points, you turn them in, they actually give you platinum. Well, if you get a bunch of battle pass points and start turning them in all and on and on, eventually you will max out your battle pass. And when you do, you are not going to be able to claim any more daily quests. So the best thing to do is to claim and get all your battle pass points. Make sure that you grab them, max them out, but don't claim them until Sunday. Make sure that you do all of your daily quests, claim them, receive all of that platinum. And then at the end of the week is when you want to max out your battle pass points and get them all the way up. That way you don't miss out on extra platinum that you get from those daily quests. And I love that battle pass tip. It's one that I honestly wasn't even fully clear on myself, but I know Nemo that you have more tips and even a bonus tip that's going to be happening over on your channel. So what Nemo and I are about to do, we're going to end this video and we're going to go record one on his channel with some additional tips for you. So make sure you go check it out. It's called the Scrappy Academy YouTube channel. In addition to that, for those of you that didn't know, Nemo and I have started a clan family. It's called the Scrappy Echoes, and we have started a Discord server just for this, just for the family, just for Diablo Immortal, and it is growing quickly. I'm leaving a link in the description of this video to that Discord server because that's right, you are invited to the server. You can be part of our clan family even as a beginner. We're gonna have roles for all different stages of people, whether you're a casual player or someone that's hardcore inside of the game, we have a spot for you so check that out and make sure you check out nemo's video while you're on nemo's video when you're in the when you're in the description or in the comment section of my video make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell we have the spots for diablo immortal and you know it so we want to see you back here in an upcoming video nemo thanks for coming to the channel man it's always a pleasure being here i'm always excited i can't wait for the next one echo thanks so much for having me you know? Yeah, man, definitely. And and he just he just teased it right there. We have more beginner videos coming for you guys. So if you're brand new to Diablo Immortal, this is episode four. More to come. Keep it locked. I'll see you guys in the next one.
and be good.